Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on JEST from Software Testing Help. Today we will learn how you can do snapshot testing with React components using JEST framework. We will see how you can set up a basic React project and write a working component in React. We will understand what is a snapshot and how you can perform a snapshot test for a React component. We will also see how you can update the created snapshot and re-execute the test with the updated snapshot. So let's get started. First of all, let's see how you can create a React app. So that's very simple. It has a command that is create React app, which generates all the boilerplate code for you and creates a working React app, which you can modify or update according to your needs. So using the syntax first, let's try creating a React app. Just go to your command line if you don't have npm or npx installed then you need to first install npx or npm the syntax to create react app is npx create react app and the name of the folder or name of the app so probably i'll say test snapshot and let's hit enter it will keep looking for all the dependencies and libraries that are required for this package and it generally takes around a minute or so to set up this app while this is setting up let's try and understand what's a snapshot so snapshot is nothing but it's a point in time representation or structure of a react component and react component is nothing but it renders as an html on your web page or mobile app so it's a point in time representation of that HTML structure. You can think about it as a analog to screenshot testing that people generally do on mobile applications or mobile web, wherein you have a captured screenshot and at a later point in time, you compare the current state with the captured state to see that everything is working as expected. So snapshot is similar in those ways, but it's not a visual representation, but a JSON based representation of the React component. It comes handy in various ways wherein suppose you have a lot of components which are expected to remain static in nature or don't change much. And during changes to your project as part of regression, you know, you can run those tests and get more confidence that things that were working previously are working now as well. So that's about snapshot. Let's see where is our project. So now it says that there was a success and it says the project was created with name test snapshot. It also gives some sample commands here which you can use to run this project. So now let's try opening this project in our editor Visual Studio Code. This is also a freely available editor. You can download it for whatever platform you are on like Mac or Windows or Linux and it will work. So we have a project name test snapshot. Let me open this. Let's try to understand the structure. Node modules are all the dependent node modules for this project. Source contains a couple of uh, basic files. The two important ones are app.js and app.test.js. App.js is the entry point for our application and at this point it just has a function named app which renders some HTML. So first let's try running this app and see how it looks. To do that you would just have to say npm start. It will compile and open the app. This takes time for the first load and you can see that it has loaded since it has nothing. So that's why it's just loading the React.js uh, home page. So now let's try changing this. I'll remove all the content in between the divs. And right now it's a function. Uh, we need to create it as a component. So I'll add a class or declaration to it, which extends the React component. And I'll basically put this uh, function inside the component. We will also need to import the component library from react package 
and since this is a function I need to call it as render and let's see if it's working it will show blank because there's nothing there let's add some text like hello world here and you can see that there is this text hello world so now let's add an href component here with some dummy text I'll basically create a hyperlink to software testing help and add some help text here like let's run this or save this and this is compiled and we can see that it has a hyperlink software testing help and if I click it it will take us to the software testing help website so now we know that our setup is working now let's move on to test I'll remove this test existing test and follow our conventional practice to write just base test describe is the outer block which is nothing but the test feed and test is the main test that we are going to write test suite can contain multiple tests and in fact all these blocks can be multi-level nested as required so I'll just name as snapshot for app component also before doing this uh, we'll need to add one more package in node that is react test render because in order to render a component to create a snapshot you need to use that package so simply write npm install save dev react test render this is the name of the project simply click enter and while it's loading let's write our test here I'll just declare a constant for rendered uh, component that's our app component render is nothing but it's the object that we want to use from the library which is react test render that's what's getting installed here with this command once that happens we can say render dot create app and I'll say to JSON and I'll say expect render component to match snapshot so now let's try understanding this test what this will do is this rendered component is nothing but the component that gets rendered as a result of uh, this app which is nothing but the app class that we have and this is nothing but the HTML representation of this when we say to JSON it converts a JSON format of this HTML which is stored as a snapshot in the project directory itself so once we run this test for the first time it will create a snapshot and see if there is already an existing snapshot if it's not there it will create the snapshot and from simultaneous execution it will not create new snapshots and start comparing them with the old ones so now our package is installed let's try running this test and see what happens so 
to run this test uh, the command is basically you can say npm test and it will give you an output okay the test was run and it also says one snapshot written so where is this snapshot written so if you carefully see this source directory there is a snapshot directory that gets created and you can see there is a file called app.test.js snap and if you open this file it's like not very readable but you can make out that it's the html representation of our component that we have in here so now every time you run this test it will use the same component that saved here and compare the current render component to the actual component so probably what we can do is in order to make this test fail i'll just update suppose i'll remove this help text okay let's save and since our tests are running in watch mode these tests will run continuously as as soon as i press save button and you can see that this test failed so why it failed it says so this red one is what is actual and green one is what was saved so it's saying that the actual is software testing and the saved was software testing help so we can see that as soon as something changed in the component the test did not match with the saved snapshot and that's why this test failed so now what to do in this condition if we know that this is a genuine change what you can do is basically update this snapshot so simply press simply quit here you can run the command yarn test minus u which says update and once this runs it will say that it has updated one snapshot if we look at this snapshot again we can see that it has now the updated text and not the older one that it had already so now if you run this test again you this will start expecting the text as welcome to software testing and not the welcome to software testing help and as long as that contract or that snapshot matches this test will continue to succeed so that's how you can leverage react uh, snapshot testing using the test framework using react test render it basically saves all the snapshots in the snapshot folder and if you in case you want to update the snapshot you can simply run the command to update the snapshot also if these tests are run as part of the continuous integration you will have to keep these snapshot files as part of the repository itself or part of the git project so that when the tests are run it can fetch the snapshots and run the test against the fetched snapshots so that's it for this tutorial thank you